Hi, I'm Claire Naza, Families for Life Council member. I'm a lawyer uh, together with my husband in the same practice. I have two children. My daughter is 19, my son is 13 years old. And uh, my husband and I, we are master trainers for this marriage education program called PREP, P-R-E-P, which stands for Prevention and Relationship Education Program. The biggest shock that I think couples face and at least from the feedback that we get from couples is that you know their partner is not who they think they are as you know couples when they get married they will usually rationalize or they will justify the reasons why they want to marry so and so and on the wedding day they'll say you are perfect for me but somehow after the wedding day the partner doesn't look as perfect as before and I think the hardest thing is to realize that you know that person that you married is not just good for you in terms of what he or she can do for you but there's a lot of things that you have to do for the person as well and in fact you might find that your partner actually may not be able to meet those needs and that can be a root shock for a lot of couples you know they plan as a, a, an idea in their mind how their marriage is going to turn out and I can tell you 100% of the time it will not, never turn out the way that they think it's going to be Well, definitely attending marriage workshops, um, hearing the views of marriage experts who have counseled, you know, possibly hundreds of couples, seen all sorts of marriage scenarios and struggles, that would be very helpful because sometimes we look at our own relationship and we think that we are the only ones going through this problem when there could be many others who are facing the same issues, have gone the road ahead of you before and would be able to provide some very practical tips on what you can do in your situation. One of the challenges really is that the fun goes out of the window when you get married. Suddenly it's all about the business of running a marriage together, buying a house, raising children, planning for children, planning for holidays. These are stuff which can be very stressful for a couple, uh, making adjustments, uh, housework. So basically you have all these responsibilities you have and then in-law problems is something that we, we see as well how couples can communicate with their in-laws better, especially if they live in the same household. So these are some of the challenges I think couples really face and we get that kind of feedback from couples a lot. Well, definitely when you are having fun, don't talk about issues, don't talk about problems. I think that's the biggest takeaway that couples usually find is that they tend to talk about issues or sometimes it brings up matters but I guess one of the key things is if you bring up something like that during a fun time is to make sure you apologize for it be quick to apologize and then move on to the next the hardest part of being of marriage would be to say I'm sorry uh, humility goes a very long way in making sure that you uh, work things out as a couple and having that sense that you know we're in it as a team we're not perfect I'm not perfect neither are you and to say that you know we're willing to learn willing to grow so for that saying sorry does have its little uh, condition attached which is that when you say sorry you mean to actually find ways to make things better in a relationship and that's something we want to promote as well Well, I think the biggest struggle that uh, in the first five years would be adjusting to one another, you know, uh, each other's preferences and likes and dislikes. For example, you know, your partner may not like you to slam the door when you leave the room, uh, whereas, uh, you know, you might find that it's not even a nuisance to you, you know, when I walk, you know, I just let the door slam behind me. But your partner might find that very irritating or, you know, don't chew so loudly when you're eating your food. So the little things like that actually, you know, can be very annoying to your other partner. And so you find that one of the challenges is learning to adapt and not take the attitude that, you know, why should I make this change for you? Which is often the case that couples will say, why should I make this change? It becomes a power struggle. How about you change first before I change? But if you take a humble attitude and you take this approach where we are growing together, we are learning to adapt to one another, then it shouldn't be big issues. Learn that you are not, your partner is not perfect. 
neither are you. So quit complaining and see what you can do to improve uh, your relationship with one another and to build on the good stuff rather than looking at the negative stuff.